A lot of parents think that their child is basically their clone. Every child is a gift to the world, and it's your responsibility as a parent to nurture that gift. And that doesn't that mean that you get to tell that gift what to do. This helicopter parenting syndrome comes from a part of the parent that's like, I want to take the best care of my child I can. So, you know, it, it actually starts in a good place. I want to be a really good parent. But what happens is it goes overboard. So they want to protect the child from everything. So they hover. That's why it's called helicopter parenting. They hover over the child, make sure that they do everything right. And I also call it snowplow parenting because they clear the way. And so instead of preparing the child for the road ahead, they prepare the road for the child. And you know that when you go out in life, no one's preparing the road for you. And so that's why a lot of those helicopter parents and the snowplow parents, they're panicked because they know that this child is going out into the real world where the road is tough and the kid has never had that opportunity to do it. I think it's better if they realize how important it is for that child to feel good about themselves and empowered. So maybe they will not be such a helicopter parent. They cut back. If you've worked with any kids between zero and five, you know that it's built in. They all have ideas. Some of them are downright wacky but they all have some idea about what they want to do. Just 20% of the time, let them go with that idea and see whether you can't support it. 80% of the time you're in charge and you just make sure that they're doing whatever's necessary, but 20% of the time, they get to do some of the things that they care about and you respect their opinion, no matter how sort of childish it might be. And when you do, then they feel like, they feel really good about themselves. So for example, let them plan like what you're gonna do on Saturday. Or how about just part of what you're gonna do on Saturday? Start with a little thing. Even if it sounds crazy, you can go through it with them. If it doesn't all work out, you're like, well, this wasn't such a good idea, but let's try again. And they can do things like make the dessert you know, okay, might not taste so great, but let them make it anyway, you know? And they can start with little things like jello or pudding. So these little things, they build self-confidence. And the more you do for your child, the less self-confident they are because they need you. And you don't want to be needed. You just, you want to be support, but you want to be able to, you're like scaffolding. It comes down when the building's built. You just watched the first of four videos on raising successful leaders with Esther Radricki. You can access the whole series as well as a complete syllabus on the Quartz membership website. If you're not yet a member, you can click the link here for a free trial. You'll get access to more conversations with industry leaders and in-depth reporting on areas of disruption in the new global economy.